What you can do inside of Blender is bring in a reference image and then trace it out to create complex models. So now, uh, for an example, I'm going to bring in a batter pattern. And before I do that, I'm going to go around onto the Z axis right here, right on the top. I'm going to click and drag this out right here. And there's the pattern image. So what you can simply do is click and drag this out over here on the center. You can also resize this by pressing S right here. And there you go. So I'm going to go around and you can see that this is in a 3D space. I'm just going to go around, push this down a bit right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Z axis and then zoom in. And to trace this out, I'm going to go around and press Shift A right here. I'm gonna go into, uh, let's say for example, in the mesh and then bring in a plane object right here. Let me just scale this down right here. I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard and now what I can do is I can work around with the vertices right here. So I'm going to go around right here and then just trace this out right here according to the pattern that I have right here. I'm just going to go around and there you go. You can rearrange out uh, the pattern right over here. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to hit tab right here and now I'm going to go around and then hit tab and go around into the loop cut right here. So once I go to loop cut, you can see that I can actually go around add in loop cut right here. So I'm going to go around add in two loop cuts right here. This is what I have. So let me just go around, press tab right here and I'm going to go around into the move tool, select this out and add in the details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around right here and maybe I want to add in another loop cut. So you keep on adding in details right here. So over here, I'm going to add in a loop cut right here, another loop cut over here as well. So I'm going to go around right here and go and select around this. So select this out. And then if I were to go around, you can see that you can pull out and add in details right here. So this is what you have now. You can go around and arrange this out over here as well. So I'm just going to pull this right here, pull this right here, as you can see, and pull this out over here as well. So I'm just gonna go around, pull this out uh, until I actually go around and then trace this out right here. So this is what I have, as you can see. So you can go around right here and this is what you have. So let me just go around, trace this out right here, just like this, and there you go. So over here, I'm just going to pull this out right here, pull this out over here, pull this out over here. This is what I have. So I got a bit of a detail right here, more than I needed, but I'm not going to worry about this. So all I need is this, as you can see. So over here, you can see that these are the cuts and everything. So uh, what I'm, I, I can do is I can go to the edge right here, the edge selection. Let me just go around, select out the edges, press E to extrude this out. And there you go, I got the edge right here. So I'm going to go around right here onto the vertices right here, select this out. And you can see that I can easily trace this out right here according to the pattern right here. So now over here as well, I'm going to go around and then uh, select out the edge. So I'm going to go around, select out the edge right here, press E to pull this off right here, just like this. And I'm going to go around over here on the vertex and then just click and drag it right here, just like this. So there you go, there's a level of detail over here as well. Similarly, I'm going to go around over here on uh, over here on the edge right here, click this, press E, drag it out right here. And then you can go around into vertex and then go around over here onto move and there you go. So this is what you have, as you can see. So according to uh, this, there's a pattern as you can see right here, you can press tab and there you go, this is what you have. So you can press tab right here, you can select out the faces. I'm just going to select out the faces, press E and you can expand this around as you can see right here. So this is what you have. And you can go around right here, press A, you can right click, you can subdivide this and you can increase the number of cuts, make it smoother. So let me just go around and make this smooth as you can see right here. So you can go around right here, you can increase out the details right here. You can see that it becomes uh, smoother right here. You can go around, work around with the properties and get the pattern you want. I don't want to add any fractal right here, as you can see. So you can see that this is the pattern right here, and there you go. I'm just going to smooth this out right here. And now, uh, since all the patterns are the same, let me just go to uh, not this axis, the axis right here. I'm just going to go around right here and then copy and paste this out now. So I'm going to go around and then press Shift D and then drag this out right here, keep this here press D and drag this out, keep this here right here. So you can see that I'm tracing this out. If you have a more complex model, then you actually go around and work around more on this. But over here, I'm taking a pattern as an example because it's simple right here. So there you go. I'm going to bring this in right here, just like this, bring this in right here, over here, 
bring this in over here and then bring this in over here just like this and over here this is all the patterns that i have let me just select all and then deselect this press shift d and then there you go so this is what i have i'm just going to keep it right here let's delete this portion out right here delete this and shift d right here bring this in shift d right here this is here uh let me just go around and then select these portions out right here this this press shift d and there you go right here and then select these portions out over here as well select all of these press shift d and there you go so this is what i have right here as you can see and there you go there's the pattern according to my reference image right here and this is what you have if we were to go around right here add in some lighting you can make a make it interesting so i'm just going to go around right here add in a point light let me just drag this on the top right here just like this press fd press fd press fd and there you go there are a bunch of point lights here now for interesting lighting effect let me just go around right here and then let me just go around right here drag it drag it and there you go so there is the pattern uh, that we worked with as you can see right here so there you go so this is what you have over here so that is how you can work around with the um, uh, with the tracing inside of blender to create and trace out elements from an image inside of uh, Blender and turn it 3D. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.